Hello, Linda Bowen here from stampingwithlinda.com, your cardiologist since 1997, helping you create cards from the heart. It's Tuesday, so fancy fold. And today I am using the beautiful Hello Irresistible Designer Series paper and the Irresistible Blooms Bundle, which is an online exclusive with Stampin' Up!, meaning that you will only find these products online. I just love the flirty flamingo and the daffodil the light in this paper. It's just so, so bright and cheery. So that is the paper I am using today, and I am simply using all Designer Series paper. I have um, just one little stamped um, sentiment on this card, but the rest is all in the designer series paper. Now I have taken the two pieces of designer series paper and I don't know how well you can see it, but I have run it through um, the basic 3D folders. These are a set of three folders, again on the exclusive, and I just love the way it adds the texture to the designer series paper. Now I have two pieces of designer series paper that are the same um, size. They measure two and a half by four. The one I ran through the embossing folder, the other one I didn't. And then I have a four by five and a quarter and I ran that through the designer series, or designers, I ran it through the designer series paper. Yes, I uh, ran the designer series paper through the embossing folder and the stamp and cut and emboss machine. Get my words straight here in a minute. Um, then I have a piece of three by four Four and a half, and that is in the basic white. Then I have a piece of the fl flirty flamingo. This measures three and a quarter by four and three quarter, and I have another piece that is two and three quarter by four and a quarter, and it's just cut off your uh, main. Uh, card base. So this card base was four and a quarter by 11 and on the 11 inch side I cut off two and three quarter and then now we're going to take this part of the card. Let me get my trimmer around here right and we are going to score this at the five and a half for our card base. So again four and a quarter by 11 I just cut off the two and three quarter. We'll use that as a panel. So we've got our card base. We will take our designer series paper that I embossed. Again, this is four by five and a quarter, and we're going to put that on the inside of our card, like so. We're going to take the one piece that we embossed of the designer series paper, put that on our flap. Again, I just think the colors in this designer series paper are just so cheery. We are going to take this piece, and remember only putting an adhesive at the top because it's going to be on the top of our fold. And we are going to line that up like so. Bring in our printed designer series paper. Again, this paper is just all you really need to make a fabulous card. So we've got that print. I have taken my dies and have cut out the leaves and cut out the flower that is part of the designer series paper. The die just matches those printed images. You have a stamped image in the bundle too. Um, that is this flower, um, but you also have um, the paper that has the print on it. So very easy. I like to carry them in my purse with my uh, snips. Um, when I take my mom to the doctor, I can just pull out and cut that paper apart and have beautiful pieces ready to go when I'm ready to make a card. We're going to take those leaves. Again, this is from the dies from the Irresistible Blooms. And we are just going to tuck those leaves under the flower. Could be using my multi 
Octopus glue too, but I think the glue dots make it easier. Those glue dots are very sticky. And one more. Then what I'm going to bring in is the loose frosted dots. Now these loose frosted dots are part of the sweet collection with this paper and bundle of products. And they just add so much to the card just by adding them. So I'm just going to take and add some glue right in the center of those flowers. Going to grab my pick a tool and I think we're going to add some yellow centers to those flowers. Oops putting them on upside down here. Well now I've got glue on it and it's going to stick to my finger. There we go. And let's add a smaller one here. Once you get glue on your finger, then everything wants to stick to you. And one more here. Doesn't that add some fun color to our card? But we're not done yet. Let's go ahead and put the glue back cap on my glue. Again, this is my multi-purpose glue, and I just bought this applicator um, online and it makes it easier for me to add my glue. I'm going to take my piece of basic white. I'm going to attach it to my flirty flamingo. And then this piece is going to go underneath here to give a nice layering with the flirty flamingo. So I find it best to Pull it up like so, line it up, Let my flower come off, or my frosted dot come off on my sticky finger. Oh well, we're not going to worry about that right now. We're going to line this up. This card layout was shared with me by a downline member, Beth during a challenge, but now see I pull that back around, there's adhesive on that so that it'll lay right down and now we just have another layer to that card. Now let me grab that frosted dot, see if I can get it back on that card where it belongs instead of on my finger. And there you have a fun card just using that designer series paper. Hope you've enjoyed this fancy fold. We'll talk to you real soon. Bye-bye.